Turning to the coronavirus in Connecticut, our state is improving on the coronavirus front. It is one of only two in the country designated with substantial transmission rate as opposed to high transmission rate. California is the only other state listed as having substantial transmission. Puerto Rico is shown in yellow as moderate, but there are still two counties here in Connecticut with a high level of community spread. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore is taking a look at some of the driving factors of why that is. Shante, which are the counties that public health officials are so worried about? Patricia, Wyndham and New London counties are in the red, but data shows the rest of the state is not out of the woods just yet, meaning the other six counties are still showing a substantial level of COVID-19 transmission. The fight against COVID-19 is a long one. As the CDC reports, just over half of Americans are fully vaccinated. In Connecticut, the number is much higher at 79%. Tonight, numbers show the state's transmission levels are decreasing after the federal agency labeled the entire state as a COVID-19 hotspot in August. A current map shows where the state now stands, with orange representing substantial spread. Red shows two counties remain in the high level. It's definitely not good news. The downgrade is far from a victory lap, says University of New Haven's doctor, Anthony Centella. Given where we are right now in October, there's no reason why someone should not be vaccinated. They're free, they're widely available, they're safe and effective. And at least for Pfizer, there's full FDA approval. The professor of health administration and policy and university COVID-19 coordinator tells me each county is dealing with unique factors. Wyndham's county's vaccination rate is at 56 percent, the lowest in the state. And New London County, vaccination is higher at 69.5 percent. While some counties rate trails New London's, Ledge Light Health District shows a spike in cases are in New London and Groton. On Facebook, it wrote it's happy to see a decrease in new COVID-19 cases, but it is imperative that we remain diligent in our mitigation strategies. We strongly advise everyone to continue to wear masks indoors in public settings, regardless of vaccination status. While the COVID-19 hotspots are concerning, Dr. Centella says data changes constantly and the counties could reverse course but he does worry if the vaccination rate stays stagnant. We don't increase our vaccination rate substantially, that we may um, have darker times ahead of us. And the takeaway, while we're months into the vaccine rollout, the reason why we still have COVID-19 hotspots is because of what Dr. Santella calls mediocre vaccination rates. Also, he says poor compliance with social distancing and masking are playing a role as well. Live in the newsroom tonight, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.